Greetings, brethren, in the wonderful name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Like most other pastors and church leaders in recent weeks, I'm in the throes of confusion. The rapid spread of COVID-19 has forced upon us an exclusiological conundrum. What does it even mean to be a church in times like this? How much does it matter that we continue together physically in the midst of such fear and uncertainty? In such a decision, wise or unwise, at what point are we being resolute or reckless? Given the rapid escalating COVID-19 crisis, many churches have been forced to shut down. This is becoming increasingly true where I live and serve. As we temporarily direct our congregations to these online spaces, it is of utmost importance that we clarify this digital reality as a temporary compromise rather than an ongoing convenience. Only clarity along these lines, or lack thereof, will be formative one way or the other. Make no mistake, sitting in the comfort and safety of our homes to watch a sermon on television or using our laptops or computers is a convenient. And convenience has a way of quickly undoing the work of long-held discipline. If we believe gathering as a church in real time and space is fundamentally important, then our temporary online reality must be viewed as a circumstantial compromise until we can get back to the necessity of gathering in the flesh. When I FaceTime my wife and kids on trips away, I am grateful for the pseudo connection. But what I want most is to get home, to hug them, and to hold them in my lovely arms. So it must be like that in this time of exclusological compromise. As we enter this new digital reality, for the time being, we can leverage the moment and the medium in helpful ways. Though we will lack the embodied presence of our community during this online season, the various platforms we use afford us opportunities to reimagine a number of our regular worshipping practices in ways that can connect us uniquely with accentuating our longing to truly be with one another once it becomes possible again. I am reminded of the words that were spoken by Apostle Paul while he was apart with other brethren. Can we read our Bibles in the book of 1 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 17? It reads thus, But we, brethren, having been taken away from you for a short time, in presence, not in heart, endeavored more eagerly to see your face with great desire. As we are enjoying all the online services that we are presenting to you, please do not forget and do not quench the desire to see each other face to face one day once it becomes possible. God bless you and enjoy our UFC Hope to You online church. God bless you. Amen.